Hello, it's Deborah Jason with Creative Whispers of the Heart. And today I'm painting alcohol ink art using a three-dimensional technique. This is the original piece I had in April 2021. Now you can see I've transformed it. I've actually added alcohol and some more inks to it and made it a bigger piece instead of just three individual flowers. Now it's many circles that cover the whole sheet of paper purple, blue, and green. And then what I'm going to do, this is 11 by 14, I'm going to trim it. So I trimmed off some on the right, the green, and then on the left, some of the purple and the blue. And now I'm going to punch holes in those two pieces. Here's a one inch hole punch and a one and a half inch hole punch. And basically I took those two pieces that I trim and I'm going to punch holes and create little dots, one inch dots, one and a half inch dots. You can see I have purple, green, and blue. Here's what the trimmed pieces look like after I was done. You can see I did different sizes in each color, but I needed more. So I did some four by six inch pieces in the same colors and created more dots. Then I laid them down on the sheet and I took double sided foam tape. You can see there's your little rectangles. I peel it off, put it on the back of a dot, then peel the backing off of that. It's a little tricky, I don't have very long nails. There we go. And then I lay it down on the paper where I want it to go. See that little purple dot, there it is. I just have dots laid down where I think I want them to be. And then I start to put the tape on it. So now I'm gonna take one of those small one inch blue dots and I'm gonna use two pieces of foam to give it some more dimension. So I put one piece down and then You can see it's, like I said, it's a little tricky getting that backing off, but there we go. So there's one piece of foam on there. Now I put a second piece of foam on top so that this blue dot will be a slightly higher dimension than the purple one that I did earlier. Get that off and then I just place it down on the sheet of paper. And now that blue dot is next to the purple dot, but the purple one has one piece of foam and the blue one has two pieces of foam. So I continue to do this with every dot that you see there on the page. In this case, now I'm putting a piece of foam on a one and a half inch dot. And again, for this piece, I'm gonna use two pieces of that double-sided foam tape. Place it on the back there. And then decide where I'm going to place it. Uh, it's gonna go there. And what I'm gonna do next is take a smaller dot, a one inch dot that's painted with that blue and then I'll put some foam backing on that and I'm going to place the one inch dot on top of the one and a half inch dot. In some cases I put one dot on top of the other right in the middle. Sometimes I put them off to the side. This one's a little bit off to the side. And basically, rather than have you watch every single piece that I do, you can see I just go through and put the tape on the back of each dot, place it on the painting, and when I'm done, here's what it looks like. All the dots, some with one piece of foam tape on them, some with two pieces of foam tape. There you can sort of see the dimension in the painting. I hope you can see that. And here you can see it a little bit better. See, there are two pieces of foam in some cases and one piece in others. Here's a close up of that. And then you'll notice I have on that 
green side there, three little one inch dots on top of each other. And then I have a blue dot with another blue dot to the side, a green dot with a green dot to the side, purple to the side, purple in the center. It's all just up to you where you wanna place it. But here's the final piece. If you liked this video, I hope you will give it a thumbs up, write a comment, or share it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.